What is up and welcome to Loose Beats, where our motto is chill out and make a beat. I'm Toby, aka Cushing from the TND channel. Make sure you check out everything we do. And today I'm gonna be going over this beat that has been my favorite for a few weeks now, and I wanted to break that down with you. And I also wanted to talk about our new community page on our Discord called Beats and Backing Tracks. So if you're a part of our Patreon for five bucks or more, you can go on there and see a bunch of beats and backing tracks that are gonna be added every week. And we're always gonna be new stuff in there and uh, there'll be opportunities for collaboration. You can ride over them, you can play to them, jam to them, whatever you wanna use them as. And if you do wanna release them, we can not only help you with that, it'll be for a discounted price because you're a part of the Patreon. And that's why we love you so much. And we want to give you a little something back. And today, this beat uh, has so far been titled 777, magic number, whatever. And uh, we'll see. And so I wanted to start breaking this down with you. Um, let's go ahead and hear most of the track, even the change here. And then uh, we'll hop into the breakdown. This is a fun little beat. Uh, it starts out with the slow crawl um, with some Western vibes. You know, we got the acoustic guitar coming in there um, and we got this nice little slow crawl up to our change. And then we kind of like double time. Uh, we get a little uh, more percussion coming in, things like that, and completely switch up the sound. And that's another thing I wanted to show you this beat for was because like I love just switching up a beat like that abruptly and you know kind of throwing all theory out of the window and just kind of starting a new song it's however you feel at the moment you know and uh that's something i i want to practice more i i suppose on purpose you know because i do it intentionally but a lot of times it's for boredom's sake or something i will have gotten so far in a song and it seems like uh you know what do i do from here so switch it up i kind of want to be more intentional with it and plan it a little more and better uh, when I switch things up. And this is a good example of that. So in our intro, we have a few things going. We have a uh, Labs VST, which is a free VST. We've got a nice piano pad, this glass piano pad, giving us uh, some of that space in the intro. Yeah, so that's bringing in that nice uh, little distant noises, you know, going on in the background there. And then we've got a Wurlitzer Classic going up here as well. Just hitting our chord changes. Really simple, you know. Yeah, and so that's working with that... Uh, that nice little pad down there to come out with some good little sound just got a good uh distant sound like i said and then we've got some cool percussion going on this is the uh we got the african kit going you can see our midi down here um you know it's 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 not that wild it's got it's got a few little uh few little different approaches pretty steady though And I think that uh, jumping down to that almost snare-like 
uh, drum at the bottom there is essential just because it kind of gives you that choppy uh, snare feeling uh, of like, you know, the things are about to transition and get hyped up. And then under that, we got the retro pluck going, which is giving us that nice bass tone. Wet bass tone. Yeah. Really nice and simple, and uh, they really all accent each other. It's real simple in the intro. Even those two. And then we start getting a couple other things coming in here. Um, we have our guitars up here. Our acoustic. Yeah. And see, it's a little... Now, the uh, tremolo is nice on that. Now, here that same track through this amazing tweed. <coughs> and so basically, uh, I've been doing this a lot recently to get a good uh, acoustic guitar tone, but by doubling them up with a electric amp and an acoustic amp, it, I seem to be able to find that middle ground. With this natural flat pick amp up here, if you hear it, it sounds more like an acoustic, but it also sounds more woofy, and it also has more of the pick string noise, you know, which is the brassy string noise, which is not always what you want. But together, you get a little bit of both. Yeah, and all these things, you know, I will go further into as we go along, you know. This is just a uh, good example of a few things I wanted to show. And now, we've got our uh, synth bass. Pretty classic sound, you know. Uh, nothing too crazy on our synth bass there. Uh, really just as we wanted some uh, subtones with uh, barely any tone on it. I really don't want to change the sound too much. Um, cause we got this retro pluck doing a lot of our bass stuff down there. And then we got, um, the synth coming in night of Avalon. Let's check that one out. That's doing our very cinematic kind of things. Yeah. And so that one is a straight up sound effect. You know, that's what we're using that for there. Um, and then now we got this uh, 808 here. We got pulled up in the quick sampler, um, just from an 808 pack. Nothing too crazy on that. Uh, and then all we did really was put this <coughs> this bit crusher on there for a little bit of that that stanky, uh, staticky noise to add that to our drum there. And we can hear what that's coming in like. Yeah. Where? Oh, that's straight. It's the big crusher's on so high that you can just, you can hear the frequency shut off, and I like that. Um, sometimes you want it kind of reverbed and echoing out, but I think in this case, uh, that static turn off is good. And so we go on. That's our that's our first section of the beat we got here. We have a couple of things added. We got some extra hi hats going. Ooh. Yeah, we got some nice uh kind of insecty hi hats there, which you know I love. And then got some kick. And a little bit of snare. Just a tiny bit. But just to hear the percussion together, so we've got this top one, the insecty one, we've got the bass, and or I mean the kick and the snare, and then we've got our African kit, we've got 
I kind of count this retro pluck. We'll give it a little melody. Um, and then we've got our 808. So together, just the without our melodies and sound effects. But yeah, you see what I'm saying about that static effect too coming through? Like it really, uh, it's it's taking over the, it's just noisy, right? It takes over the whole mix and then it just pulls back up and allows room for the bass or whatever we need to hear right there to step in and then it comes back. So I like it kind of alternating like that. Um, and then to our change. So we have a very abrupt change in this one like we love to do um, and completely change the idea of the feeling. So just a few seconds into the second part we'll hear. Uplifting. <laughs> and then we bring it back. So we actually did use this as a nice little pocket break uh, to entirely change the mood, make it a little more uplifting, uh, kind of bring it back around at the end, uh, and then just dump our beginning on it, you know? So it has a nice wrap up there, and it does fit even though it doesn't. That's like the rule about kind of like knowing the rules before you break them. It's like uh, that does not work, <laughs> but it's so interesting, and because everything's built right, uh, section by section and it technically is correct it's just not uh what people are expecting to hear which can be a good thing and so i like these switching beats up like that you know um so on this little section just real quick we've got our uh, electric piano going which is nice and blissful now half a step or a step and then we're going to switch right back so we've got a little drum kit on this section the socal going straight classic rock sounding kit i use this one often i uh just think it sounds sounds closest to the thing you imagine a drum kit to sound like, right? And then uh, we've got a nice synth pad under that. This Arctic Shimmer, Arctic Shimmer. Just again, taking over the 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 noise, the space, which is a great. I like that static taking up uh, weird frequency areas that are normally empty, just for a second at least. But it's a little psycho. It's definitely got an airplane kind of noise to it, you know? And with this section, we used, uh, let's see, we used a beat machine. We got another drum kit here. Uh, let's get ready. Get ready. DMX. No. That's just, I don't know why it made me, it made me feel like that, though. It's uh, something about to go off, but uh, we've got those just kind of in tandem. Yeah, just making the section like super driving, you know. And then down here, uh, this is our, I think our synth going. Our synth bass, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I can't even tell it's doing all that, honestly, when the beat's going. That's crazy. Um, because it's really following its own little thing, but then we've done a, a, a similar thing in the percussion. So it kind of mimics that. Now we've got our organ in the wind here. 
classic churchy sound. And then we've got our Latin kit, which totally makes this section what it is. And just to see that in its MIDI, you know, it's doing these little pocketed uh, runs. Just doing these uh, little 16th pocketed little uh, runs, but they're all pretty scattered and different, which is interesting. Um, as long as you use kind of close to the same sounds. This would be interesting music by itself. <laughs> but, so we've got that going, and then down here, we've got another 808 to uh, follow our key change there. Just doing its thing. This one's not bit crushed. We don't want this section section as um, as nasty. This is a little more uplifting of a section. It's supposed to be kind of energetic, you know. And that builds tension because we go, you know, we cut out of this uh, this nice minor feel into this like major happy feeling, but then we make it unsettling by moving it up, move it up just a little bit. So um, I don't know. I can see why uh, that works, even though it shouldn't. And, I mean, that's about pretty much it on this one. I hope you liked it. This is just a B for the week. Um, this one's been on my mind, and I wanted to talk about uh, little beat switches, you know, how you can just do whatever you feel like. You know, it's up to you, really. It's your music. And uh, so with this one, it just ends up being something that you need to come back to. Uh, really, it just needs somebody. Uh, this seems more like a spoken word type thing you know where you just spit over it and you're not really following the melodies as much i think it would work a bit better um but yeah make sure to fucking leave the lie do the thing check out our patreon you know i told you about the discord thing that shit's cool as hell check that out and there'll be new ones up all the time right now there's probably just the first few but we're just getting it started and make sure to check me out cushing on spotify and everywhere else you get music and make sure to check out real bird our company which is changing all the time growing all the time we do so many things check out our merch site you know we have merch all kinds of different shit. I don't want to say it because they've been getting mad at me, but it's a cult. <laughs> I love you. And we will see what happens with this. Um, so we're going to go out on this magical 777.